In a jungle, there lived an army of ants. The queen of these ants, named Clara, was very merciful, but her maid, Veronica, was very proud. One day, Clara, with her army, was going towards the other end of the jungle. It was then that she heard the footsteps of a pack of wolves. Move away from here quickly! But Veronica did not move. Why are you being so stupid, Veronica? Move away from there. Otherwise, the wolves will trample you under their feet and go. You will die for being careless. But why every time we should change our route for others? You know it very well, Veronica. We are the smallest of the creatures in this world. No, my dear queen. I will not move away from here. This is my order, Veronica. You have to move from here. Otherwise, you will die for nothing. Only for the orders of the queen, Veronica moved away from there out of anger. After reaching home, Clara was very angry and told Veronica, Do you even value your life? I do not understand that why are we the tiniest of all creatures? Why can't we be bigger in size like all the other animals? I have made you understand so many times, Veronica. Do not daydream. This is not possible. Why is it not possible? I have heard everything is possible in this world. Just wait and watch, my dear queen. One day, I will also grow as big as the other animals. And that day, I will teach a big lesson to the other animals. Hearing what Veronica said, all the other ants present there started making fun of her. If you wish to laugh at me, laugh. But watch, the day I grow bigger in size, I will become the real queen. Having said this, Veronica went out for a stroll in the jungle. The elephant, who was out for a nice walk, before he could trample her, she very sportingly moved away from that spot. If God has made you so big, it doesn't mean that you can keep your big feet anywhere you want. Hearing the ant's voice, the elephant started looking here and there. And the elephant spoke to himself. Who is telling all this? I can't see anyone. Open your eyes wide and look down. You will be able to see me. When the elephant looked down on the ground, then he saw that a small ant was looking at him out of anger. Please forgive me, ant. I couldn't see you. You are right. If I would not have seen you, I would have been dead by this time. Fault is yours. You should not cross this. Why? Are we not creatures of this jungle? Yes, you are the part of this jungle. But you should think now that the size of yours is very small. You should not be proud of your big huge structure, you elephant. You must have heard that saying. If ants crawl into your ears, you will have a big tough time. Saying this, the ant very actively climbed up into the ears of the elephant and she bit the elephant in his ears. That's why God made you so small. I will complain against you in front of king. The elephant was very angry and out of anger he straight away went to the king of the jungle and angrily he told him everything. The Lion King called Clara with her army of ants into his cave. Along with your troop, you have to leave this jungle immediately. Please go. Please leave this jungle for one year. But what have we done, O King? One of the ants from your group has annoyed elephant brother. If it would have been someone else, then I would have punished heavily. But how should I punish ants? It's your fault. If some ant is creating mischief, then you will be blamed for it. Silently, Clara was getting ready to leave the jungle. And then a big black smoke started hovering near the army of ants. And in a moment, that smoke turned into a big form of an ant. I am the biggest queen of the ants. I am the magic queen. You are very big in your shape, O oh magical queen. 
Yes, I am big in size and I can turn you all into this shape also. But you have to do something for me. What is the condition? You have to take revenge for the insult. And after getting a larger size, you have to draw the blood of all the animals of the forest. No, we are not ready to accept your condition. Veronica, I sense something wrong here. I have never heard of this kind of a size of an ant. And never have I seen so. Don't listen to her, Veronica. If you want, then I can make you the queen of the ants. Tell me, do you accept? Yes, I accept. Then there was a loud explosion. Veronica and all the other ants present there became large and wide. Except Clara. You deserve this, Clara. Now live alone. Veronica spoke to the ants who have grown big. Come along with me. In this jungle, all the animals have troubled us. Now we should teach them all a lesson. Veronica, along with that mysterious queen, went away from there along with her army of ants. And in a short time, there was utter disorder in the whole of the jungle. The advisor to the king of the jungle, the owl, flew to the king of the jungle and he narrated to the king of the jungle everything that he saw with his own eyes. A big troop of red ant will reach here within some time. What should I do now? Please suggest me. I think, my lord, this all had been done by that witch whom you have removed from this jungle. She has increased the size of these ants to take revenge from us. We have to defeat her tactfully. In a short while, Veronica with her army of ants reached the cave of the king. Get ready to die. I have come to take revenge for the insult. Please return from here, Veronica. What do you want to do? After killing me, you want to take over this jungle. Don't forget that someone will be very powerful than you. Who can be more stronger than me? Queen of Ants. The time you will kill me, she will also kill you. Because she is not the Queen of Ants. She is a witch whom I have thrown out of this jungle. Don't fall into his trap. He is trying to make you a fool. But he is right in one way. You are stronger than me. That's why it is important to finish you. In a short while, both of them started fighting with each other and killed each other. After both of them died, all the other ants again turned back into the tiny form. Have you seen, oh my lord, what is the power of mind? That's why I have made you the consultant of mind. You were right. If I would have tried my power on them, then they might have killed me. Oh my lord, everything is correct. But do remember, these ants were equally responsible for this. If they wouldn't follow that witch because of greed, then they might not have to face these consequences. And then there came Clara very slowly. On behalf of all the ants, I am asking for forgiveness. They are not to be blamed. Veronica was the mastermind. She is killed now. She has been paid for all that she's done. Please leave them alone. Veronica is correct, oh my lord. Please forgive them. If God is doing something, it will be good. Let's say we defeated that witch easily. You are 100% correct. Go. I am forgiving your troop. Clara left that place very happily. <laughs>